What's going on guys? Time and Amazing here. We're back with another video. In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to farm a bunch of gems in action. Time and in. So let's get into the video. All right. So if you guys want to be farming a ton of gems in action, time and in, um, there's a bunch of places you actually get it from. Um, we'll actually go over everything or every place in the game where you can get gems from and uh, basically explain like why you use gems in the game. So let's actually go to the reason why you actually want to get gems in the game. So there's two places you can use your gems. You have the gotcha area, which where you can summon for your supporters or your weapons. And you also have, um, there's also the shop of desires too, which is like, you know, basically like extra stuff for that. Um, but yeah, there's that. And then there's actually the shop itself where you can actually buy either time and in themselves. If you want to outright buy them or if you want to buy their costumes. So you have like a bunch of costume options here. Um, if you want to actually buy costumes for them. Um, but yeah, and costumes are actually nice for the character because they actually provide um, a bonus to stats. So you actually, when you do pick them up, you do actually get a bonus to stats, which is really nice. Let's actually explain how you can be getting the gems in Action Timing in. So we're going to be going over basically every place you can actually get gems from in the game. The first place you're going to be getting gems from is going to be the main story quest, especially early on as a newer player. Um, if you're playing Action Timing in, Early on, you want to do easy, um, then normal, and then hard of the story. The thing is with action timing in though is that difficulty scaling is kind of high um, when you go from easy to normal. So it is going to be kind of a big jump. So I recommend just going through all of story on easy um, your first time going through. Um, so you can get a bunch of gems that way, right? Um, it's definitely the best way to go about it too because you do get um, a lot of gems throughout the story. You get 10 gems per clear on one of these stages because as you can see, um, 10 gems per uh, achievement reward. So once you complete the star on this, you're actually going to get the 10 gems. And it's the same goes for the uh, stages, the second stage as well with being normal. Um, so on normal, you actually get 10 gems for clearing both the stars here. And then on hard, you're going to have to clear three stars, but you do get the gems as well. So 10 gems per stage, 10 gems per stage. So you can kind of do the math there, like basically on like five stages per chapter so you get 50 gems per chapter um 50 times 13 um what is 50 times 10 is 500 and then you would get what like probably so what like total story if you do um all of easy you actually get 650 gems which is not too bad um just you know quick math but um yeah that's going to be the main story right there the next place you're going to be getting it is from your daily quest it's the same goes as story um so if you clear it the first time you actually do get 10 gems per clear um so as you can see right here um but yeah basically you just clear the stage you get the uh you know the achievement done and you get the 10 gems per stage clear so as you can see um you do easy normal hard it's the same goes as a uh, story so you basically you have all the daily quests too so you have basically let's see so 10 times 10 times 4 which is 40 times 3 which is 120 so you have 120 gems in just the daily area so that's pretty nice um and then the special mode is the next place you're actually gonna be doing i'll actually use one of these special mode chips to just reset it so i can show you guys what it does but basically here as you can see you have the asagi's bridge race and you have the yukikaze gasha shooting gallery once you clear one of these stages here you're actually going to be able to get three gems per clear of this stage um and the thing is with the stage is that it refreshes every six hours so once you've cleared it one time you can actually do it again and get three gems again six hours later so in total um 6 12 18 20 every every 24 hours if you do it every six hours you're actually going to be able to get 12 gems a day just from doing the special mode so it you know it is kind of like you know every six hours you have to do it type of thing but if you're able to do it every six hours you're actually going to be getting 12 gems so it's like um let's do this asagi bridge race just to show you guys as an example here um but i'll do this real quick and then we'll get our gems from this as well but um if you clear the yukikaze uh, shooting gallery or the asagi bridge race um as if you clear it perfectly you actually get a lot more gold than you would have normally so definitely make sure to try and clear it as best as you can so uh, asagi's bridge race is basically like temple run type of thing like it's kind of just like you know your your move left right um and it automatically moves you type of thing so you kind of just like go through more like subway surfer actually if you think about it but um yeah so you kind of just go through here get all the gold you clear the stage and then uh once you've cleared the entire stage here you're actually going to get the three gems so let's actually just clear this stage um yeah the yukikaze shooting gallery i feel like that one's a lot um it's not like a lot harder but i say it's a little bit harder than the bridge race so the bridge race is just like left right left right it's not too difficult um but yeah you can kind of go through the whole thing without really getting any obstacles hit um it is pretty easy right here so actually just going to clear through here 
and uh, yeah this is not a you know it's not too bad too because this is like steady income of gems every single day if you're getting this every single day um then you're actually gonna have a ton over time because you do get three um per time you do this and you can do it up to four times a day so that's pretty nice um but yeah we're just gonna go through here we're almost, almost at the finish line so we're just gonna go here get that final one and then yeah so we're done and then once we complete this we're actually gonna get the uh, three gems and we're also gonna get some gold as well which is really nice so we're gonna go back to the lobby now and we're gonna go over the next place you can actually get gems so the next place you're actually gonna be able to get gems is gonna be the golden pass the golden pass is not always a thing that's around all the time so by the time we're recording this video um it's the uh kirara update and the ingrid update so if this is not out during your update um the golden pass will eventually come back around but basically it's kind of just like a battle pass thing you, um, you clear mission achievements here and then you actually do get rewards for clearing the achievements so you have the standard one and then the golden pass the standard one does get you gems at the end so you're able to actually get 50 gems from it which is not too bad and you also get some ur tickets which is pretty good too um but yeah it's actually really nice the uh, golden pass right there the next place you're actually gonna be able to get gems is gonna be from the arena so if you go to the battle arena here you're actually gonna go to the reward list and you can see that if you're in top class in pvp you're actually gonna be able to get 75 gems a week so if you're farming this um if you're farming pvp you want to actually make sure you're able to get to the top level um not just for weapons but also just to so you can actually get gems from here so because uh um, once you start out in pvp you only start out with 20 gems so once you start climbing up in the ranks and you get to top class you actually can get 75 gems and honestly it didn't take me that much to be fair like all i really did was got my current item level 75 if you focus like one character and uh push them to kind of like get through pvp you'll actually be perfectly fine because most of pvp is going to be bots like this as you can see so they're going to be around like the level um that you're at and like they're only going to have like like a few stars like compared to you right um so when you're actually facing this you're going to face a bunch of bots once you get in the top class you're going to face some real players and once you do um you instantly lose to them and then you can re uh refight the bots again so it's kind of just like you you fight five bots in a row and then you fight a real player you lose and then you fight a bunch of bots but this is auto pvp by the way so by real player i just mean like the opponent's going to have like a really built team so that's going to be pvp right there and you're going to be able to get 75 gems a week the next place you're going to be able to get gems is going to be in the collections here. So if you go to collections and go to supporters, you're actually going to be able to get gems based on intimacy on your, your supporters here. So if we actually scroll over to, um, if I can find one of my supporters that doesn't have max intimacy here, I can show you guys. Um, but let's just see here. So I have Misaki here, Misaki Akane. Um, she's almost at max intimacy here. So I'll actually do a stage and actually get her to max. I might as well show you guys. Um, but as you can see, she's almost at max intimacy. Basically how you get intimacy is by using the character or using the supporter on your character. So let's actually go over to my Kuranai here and we'll give my Kuranai the supporter for, uh, Misaki here, wherever she is right here. So I'll actually just give her to my, uh, Kuranai. And then what we'll do is we'll actually just hop into a stage real quick um, and clear the stage and see if we can get the uh, rank up here. So we'll actually just do the daily ore um, and we'll do it on times five. So we we'll actually get as much XP as possible for my intimacy and then we'll actually just hop in here. So we're going to clear this stage real quick and uh, we'll get some gems from it, which is pretty nice. So let's just hop in and uh, let's see current. I go crazy here. So there we go. Okay. I go through yet yeah, there we go There we are. The stage is not too difficult, like, for me nowadays, though. Like, just because I've gotten uh, my current eye up to level 75. So once you're, like, you're around, like, 75, dailies are actually not too bad. I'm um, kind of on, like, a tangent here, but uh, while we're cleaning the stage. But, uh, yeah, the stage is not too bad. Like, once you get your characters to 75, so, like, early daily quests, you can kind of just clear. Um, but once you get to, like, hard and stuff, it does get a little difficult. But my current eye is a little built here, so it's pretty nice. We will actually breeze through all of this. We can move into the boss fight here, so... Let's just clear the boss fight and we'll see if we get enough intimacy to get her to level 5 and actually get the gems from it. So let's get a dodge here. Come on, there we go. Alright. Let me drop the ultimate and hopefully one shot. There we go, nice. So. 
Now, as you can see, Kurenai just one-shots that stage, and we're gonna get uh, some intimacy here on my Misaki. Hopefully, it's enough to actually get the uh, gems here. It might not be, but let's see. Maybe we do get the level up. We do. So, we do get the level up to level 5. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the collections here. Um, so, let's go over to collections. Go to my supporter and we can scroll down and find misaki here and we're actually going to get 20 gems from playing with the character so once you play with the character to max intimacy you're going to be getting 20 gems and you actually get like a bunch of gems like up tell uh intimacy five so uh, once you do that you're actually going to be getting like i think it's around like 50 gems um if i'm not mistaken but yeah that's going to be um your gems from collection there the next place you're actually going to be able to get gems is going to be from your achievements. So if you go over here and you actually go to the achievement milestones, you're actually going to be getting gems from the achievement milestone itself being, um, the gems actually scale up depending on your uh, milestone, but uh, right at the moment I'm at 50 per milestone right here. We actually get a bunch of them, as you can see, just from like the battle area, the growth area, um, the collect area, like you're actually just going to be getting a bunch of gems through all your achievements here and you'll kind of just get them naturally as you play. So don't really like chase them, I would say you kind of just like play the game and just get them naturally i don't think you should really be chasing gems um through the uh, achievements here another place you can actually be getting gems is going to be from your weekly missions here so your weekly missions you actually want to do every single week obviously um as you can see here you just clear all these missions you're going to getting 10 gems from just logging in four times and you're going to get 10 gems from this milestone 20 gems from this milestone and then 30 from this milestone out of seven so once you clear all these dailies here you're going to be getting all of this gems uh, for your account, which is pretty nice. You get like what? Like that's what? 30, 20, that's 50. So you get about um, 70 gems for your weekly missions, which is pretty good, man. So definitely make sure to clear your weekly missions. Another place you can actually be getting gems from is going to be your event area. So if you go to your event area and go to the event, the one you have right now is actually the new timonins and the evil amidst. So if you go to the event, you're actually going to see that in the event gotcha, there's going to be some gems available. So if you actually go through the reward list, you're going to see that there are gems in every box here. As you can see, you can get up to 15 gems per box, which is not too bad, right? Not too bad. And it goes up to the, I think the 10th box is where it stops. Yeah, so once the ninth box, you're actually gonna be getting up to 15 gems per box, which is really nice. So definitely make sure to do this like every time an event comes around, because you're actually gonna get a lot of gems through the event. And then also from the like event story itself, you're actually gonna be getting gems too. So if you clear this stage, you're gonna be getting 10 gems per clear, um, which is pretty nice. And then the final place I've remembered getting gems from is actually gonna be from your dispatch mission. It's not like a high chance, um, but it is actually a possibility of getting gems from your dispatch mission here. Um, uh, but it has to be the reward on the left here so if it shows uh, gems here definitely make sure to do it um i've only seen it like one time so i think it is like a rare chance of seeing that dispatch mission uh, but whenever it's there definitely make sure to put your uh, ur supporters in there um and actually get it done with so um that's basically that all right, so that's basically it for the video on how you get gems in action timing in. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe as always. And if I missed anything, let me know in the comment section below. Um, with that out of the way, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out and have a great rest of your day.